I well, just go live. Okay, so I, so I told my sister, and she's sitting with my parents, and I said, it's running, it's running. <laughs> now I gotta talk, I she's talk. looking at your cats. I got to talk to her again. Like so I gotta touch her again. It's, now it's running. Right, you're probably going to over this fucking Tyler. There it goes. Like, those videos, though, like, it's... Yeah. Wow, look at the like, delay. Yeah, no, it makes you look like you're, it makes you watch. I know. Like, 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 you were about to like, poke me. Yeah. Well, that's the other reason. Yeah. Because yeah. the guy with the wood. I did there. Like, she did right by the way. This is kind of like, right? The video, like, highly scalable in movement. Like, I'm kind of like, what? That's great. Oh, I can give you some notes. Uh, 
Somebody twerk over you. Yeah. I'm going to be the I'm going to so allergic that I made the mistake of touching them. I hadn't done anything about it. I touched oh. my hand. And like, you know, because I was shaking yeah. hands. I all of a sudden just did this leathery thing. And he went, oh. 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 No, no, it's okay. Oh. 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 Oh, see, that's not the picture I wanted. I had I had zoomed it. It's too late. I had zoomed it in the app. Yeah, maybe it um, maybe it went back to. Yeah. Well, let me see if I can figure this out when we when we played it. That's oh. Oh, look what I just did. I just zoomed it. Too much. Well, that's a little better. That's a little better. It must take a second. I think so. Do you have, is your phone an Android? Yes. Do you have an extra cable? Do you want to see it? Yeah, I do. Oh,
Jeannie's going to be late. She's coming. Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to let you say? You're talking about Kathy Shane, right? You yeah. Oh, I you thought you she, I'm pretty sure she said she was coming. I know she Okay. I'll message her. Oh, is it? Oh. Oh. Yep. Okay. Good. You're not late. He's got, this is a fat and party group. <laughs> Jeannie was the late one, so we could start. Oh, okay. So sneak in. Sorry. 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 Hey guys. Hi, I'm Tara. 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 Hi,
Tara, uh, can you I'm you double that. Window, window? Yeah, mm -hmm. unbelievable. I and I thought last night was something. <laughs> so anyway, I'm still talking over you. It's amazing. Yeah. It is amazing, frankly. <laughs> so shut up. Okay. Secondly, I have to mention that this is, I mean that in the nicest way. This has been live streamed for my parents who are in Woo Massachusetts. Woo! So they're watching this, and if you don't want to be in it, the frame, where's how far does it go? Basically, Over stay there. back here. Yeah. Don't go to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> or just go and go like but Make sure your pull-up is really good, because the world is watching. And, and watch your language. Oh, uh, yeah. Pull the sauce. Uh, there are also maybe some friends in Russia watching. That's also oh. possible. Um, feels like there was there another thing. Tim, Tim said you no, no, in Mass they're in Massachusetts. Um, and yeah. Emily, could, if yeah. if he does climb on me, yeah, please don't laugh. Just come up and get him off. Okay. <laughs> you know, if it looks like that's a hard out. You know. So anyway, all right. So no if yeah. there's a question, I, I will say this stuff, and I'm sorry if, if you already know this stuff. A sonata doesn't. So I'm playing a piano sonata. A sonata doesn't mean anything. It just means a, a sound, sound, sound piece. Mm. Typically, sonata is for a single instrument or like a violin and a piano, but it's not for an orchestra or a string quartet, it's typically just for a solo. It, it's insignificant. And, and all of those titles simply are markings of how fast to play. So the first one says extremely moderate, which is one of my favorite markings. <laughs> <laughs> Very moderate. That um, me. And that's all, and so almost none of these have real names. You gotta realize, I mean, when you get down in the second half, intermezzo just means a piece that goes, this kind of feels like it's in the middle. A ballad is a, you know, a story song uh, the idea. That's all those things mean. The only one that actually has any real heft is the very last one of the Brahms where it says, whatever it says, it has the word mesto, suddenly, and that means sad. Oh. It's finally you have an actual character word. Most of it's just speed stuff. So don't think it means anything or it's clever. It's Italian because that's how it got. That's just historical. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not special. Pretentious. Yeah, it, it's just not, it's, it's a bunch of nothing. Mm -hmm. It's just sound stuff. So, okay. Do it. We're ready. I'm excited.
Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, wow. So, so yeah, let's eat fat. You know. Oh yeah. That was a lot <laughs> just, of milk. Just. Yeah. Well, I know. And, and the, and the front of this gets long, you know. Although I, I, we're all I know you can tell you were really good because there was an opinion about it. And I. <laughs> <laughs> So this desk is up, and he's sitting there, and Elsie pulls out his phone and takes this picture, and all you see is this one yeah. white foot, like absolutely vertical, and that's all you can see is the desk and this one foot. Really, really funny. Okay, six one two. Eight two two. Yeah. Nine five two. So. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking that last week too, where it sounded like um, it's like four is bad enough tying the boat.
But the Rachmana, a lot of the Rachmana is the ones that I play before, I play before I play. Oh, Frank and I didn't like how I play. Oh. I just kind of uh, uh, oh. I want to hear you play. So it's a student orchestra, you know, pick up all that. Yeah. Well, yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. 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 And uh, the conductor, and uh, it's one of those moments if I had any ounce of pride, I would have been You know, I was embarrassed. I don't know. Like, 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 you know how it starts, right? You know how it starts. Yeah. Yeah.
because people don't pay the product. Yeah, right. Right? So you don't get the money. It's not a, it's not a standard uh, commercial <laughs> 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 yeah. It's just not a standard commercial <laughs> at all. And then it's super crazy. Everyone says that what they said on the show. They just didn't say anything inappropriate. I would not want to say anything. But when I did that, I was like, I don't want to worry about you at all. I was like, I don't want to worry about you at all. So he would have to call me up. I didn't live there. He'd call me up. The guy saying he's a lot of care. This is how he called me. So I had to make sure he charged the fantastic guy. Okay, let me get back to that. So one of the nice things about his energy card was, well, he caught on. What I mean, I learned from some technique, which is don't ever ask people except the cookie. Yeah. Always ask people for, for their, for their, I mean, you would do that again if you want, as long as you want to get, I know, that's the problem. Never say, can you give me a card? Who should I be talking yeah. to? Yeah. Um, Who should I be talking to? It's so stupid. What should I ask? And you just keep going at it that way, and then you'll hear me. Well, I'm one of those people. Whatever. What should I do? Because I can't be telling you this, Jerry. No, I don't know much about music. No, no, no. You guys don't get your book. No, it's not the best opera. You know, I know that people like them. What should we have a Christmas tree in their pocket? Who wants to play in your house? That's why I got these opportunities all during that time. And that's the point. There are people who can do that. But I have a lot of time. I have a lot of time. I have a lot of time.
It was mostly just to like, keep people out when there was people wandering around. Yeah. Anyway. I appreciate um, so they had a bunch of stuff going on. And then yeah, yeah, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Well, maybe that's that. I have to admit, you know, Paul. Well, that's not my folks. It's my house. Part of a business thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't have to do anything special. I just have to talk, <laughs> right? And, and people and the kids get, oh my God, I understand them. You know, it suddenly becomes a live thing. It's not that teacher making the right, 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 right. So that's why it's important. So I was asking, when does the lockdown? I mean, are so are they all online? And and my host runs an after school school. Uh, she calls it, it's called City of Childhood, and it actually runs. This isn't why she started it, but it has, it's one of the things they do is they run supplementary English. And they have the, the city's largest supplementary English program, 500 students, unbelievable. I mean, I, I know when they started, and, and it was you know, just two classes and then the boom, boom, boom. So the, I don't want to meet them online, right? I could do that here, right. that doesn't make sense. And what my friend Elena said is that the colleges are back in school now, or they're going back on Monday, and high schools are going back on Monday. And if uh, all the under, whatever, high school and lower will be back in school on Monday or the following Monday. Uh, so, I'll, you know, and, that, and when that happens, that means that after school, you know, private programs and all that stuff can then start to become in person again. Right. Because they, they're being held back the longest. Um, so that's the news. <clears throat> and, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm taking my vitamin D and my zinc and my vitamin A and my perceive and my NAC and my, and my, what's that other stuff? The uh, black cumin seed oil, you know? And I'm taking it all. So, and I've got oh, my, yeah. I've got my in case of infection packet ready to go, so. Or X. Uh, well, and I've got, well, I've got my iodine every morning and every evening yeah. I, I swish with iodine and I do my nasal spray, so. Oh. so. Are they gonna let you in with all those drugs? <laughs> those are drugs. Those are yeah. over the counter. <laughs> they're all supplements. Yeah, they're all, they're the all. drugs he has. They're all, no, I'm gonna only bring four ounces of iodine, though. <laughs> Yeah. Can we say hi to, to Sandra, Wyatt, and Tim? Oh, oh that's okay. Sure. Yeah. Watching. Oh, are they watching? Yeah, they Tim said he was going to. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You want to stand over here and say hi? No. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Tim. Hi, Mom. Some of them this morning. <laughs> hi, Tim. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Wyatt. Hi, Wyatt. Hi Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Ann. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh. And maybe oh. hi, Elena. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, Okay, so now I'm going to talk about Siberian Bridges. Real quick, I'm just going to say, I'm to make it really short, the best description of why this thing got started is to go to SiberianBridges.org. Siberian Bridges, all one word. And the front page is, I'm the, I was the founder and with my family and, and the president forever. Uh, and there's a, a note from me to say this is how this started and welcome and so on. So you can find out. But I, the, basically, I went as a pianist to China and in China on the train, because I was up in Northeast China, I was on the train that was on its way to Russia. And I was put in a train compartment with some trade reps from the city. And they said, come to our city and play. And I said, cool, here's my tape, here's my, here's my book. Because that's what I was over in China to do. You know, I had all these packets. And so then I went there as a pianist twice, and then uh, went as a teacher. And after I came home as a teacher, so it was 89, 91, and 92, 93 was the teaching time, and I came home and we started this little nonprofit where originally it was Musical Bridges, because the idea was, if I'm gonna go to these places that never pay you, because China also couldn't pay at the time, um, maybe it's possible to have a nonprofit that can hire me. You can't be a personal nonprofit, but a nonprofit, and then we can hire other people to go do stuff. Never happened, that never, that never panned out, but it, ha it got this name, uh, which is a nice name, and, and I went, and I actually had a Russian friend in the U.S. who said, you know, all they're gonna want is the English. And I said, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was really clear. I did teach music, but it didn't, it was kind of a fraught relationship. Um, <laughs> I didn't like the way, I, I didn't understand what they were up to, and they sure didn't understand what I was up to. So what, doesn't matter. But so, but the English education uh, was amazing, um, amazingly important. And I should say that the significant aspect of this city, actually, I can't take it off, it's glued to it. But I can show it to you. You've got to understand how far away it is. So there's Moscow over here. Right. 
and this where I'm going is right here. Oh, wow. So it's over. It's kind of over Beijing, and it's it's six time zones from Moscow, and it's 14 time zones. No, it's 15 time zones from here because we are on daylight savings. I mean, we're off daylight savings, and daylight savings is 14 hours different. And what's the name of the city? Chita, C-H-I-T-A. And the thing that was significant about it and its region, there were other places in Russia like this, but it was closed, closed to the outside world. It was a very important military district. So it was, and it had, it had nuclear warheads aimed probably at China, um, stationed there. And it opened in 1988, with the INF Treaty, signed by Reagan. And the minute it was signed, American observers went and they, they, dis, they dismantled these things and suddenly the city is open and the region is open, the province, you could say. And, uh, and these guys had on, that were on this trading trip were on their very first trip outside and into China. And for them, it was an amazing trip because they were almost at war with China, not that long before. And then they said, cherry on top of the ice cream was meeting an American. Right. And we're, sitting, we're sitting in this in this compartment. Here I am, and I'm American, so Americans travel. But it was a crazy trip for me. But theirs was even more amazing because they said, we, "Who would think we'd have an international passport? Who would think we'd be crossing this border? Who thought?" And we're meeting an American on our first trip. What the hell, you know? So. Uh, and it was you. Yeah. Well, lucky me. <laughs> lucky me. So I went and then, so I got to go play. And I, so I don't really have a relationship with Russia. I have a relationship with this city yeah. and, and, I'll, and my friends there. So anyway, uh, and, it, and the organization, the first whole period of it, when I didn't live here before, you know, I lived out in um, Connecticut, uh, was about English education. And since moving here in 2000, the English education thing fell off for, I, I won't go into what, but it just did. Uh, and so we kind of were projectless, and now the projects that we do, our main project, we just, the print, it's about the principle of the organization. We're not about uh, this or that need. Like, we're not about English education. We're not about orphanages. But our biggest project happens to be working, you know, donating to an orphanage. Because we made we made a friend a friendship with uh, you know somebody who said could you help us? Well, sure, that's the kind of thing we do. So it's always based on a question, a request, or a perceived need. So the English you could kind of justify because I, the hardest thing was getting anybody to request because it's bad form. We don't ask people for things, mm -hmm. right? It, it's not polite. And so I kept saying, you have please ask. And, you know, and, and it just wasn't the form, but it was so obviously wanted that we just accepted that as the form. But now people are, you know, much more willing to say. And so, in fact, one of the coolest things is this year. One of the reasons I'm going is this orphanage. We we start we don't start by donating 600 bucks, a little more, a little more, a little more, and they give us this complete accounting. And we absolutely love this director of this of this orphanage, um, and because uh, she's so creative and such a mind and it's such a heart and and uh, so they came up with this project saying which is for it's always town and and orphanage the town is 16,000 people uh, for a health project uh, 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 exercise and they've got some facilities that they can share with the uh, with the town so, uh, uh, they've got a gym and they got some fields and they want to get a program to get everybody doing exercise and everybody doing finding something that they like to do so it can be organized like what we do, but it can also be dance, whatever, but to try to get some stuff going and get all everybody going in um, was the idea. So they sent us, and they now, God, I can make this so long, and I'll try to make it through. But they sent a real, completely filled out grant proposal to us saying, we're not asking you, but do you know where we could send this to? Oh, yeah. Right? Who should we be talking to? That's kind of time to think of it. Who should we be showing this to? And so our board, you know, we're a tiny little organization. I'll tell you, we have $29,000. That's the yeah. most we've ever had, just to let you know how small we are. Um, that we're looking at saying, that's, a, you know, thousands, you know, hundreds of thousands of rubles. Wait, let's figure that out. Oh my God, 
You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, so I'm actually, the, the, the central reason of my traveling is to carry the money over. Oh my God, that's because, so exciting. Because I, so now I'll say the second part, which is getting into the music now. Um, <laughs> Look, it's really too bad that our government has decided that Russia is the, is the enemy, because Russia has decided that we're not reliable, and so it, it you know it just feeds on itself. There was a moment, you know, ten years ago, fifteen years ago, especially ten years ago, where all of this was kind of melting away, mm -hmm. and then it starts to then it became advantageous for whatever reason for us to go back to this Cold War mentality, and and so it's all closing back up again. And so, um, <laughs> huh? I think it's called Trump. The no, 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 absolutely not. It's not Trump, it's Obama. It's Obama. It was Sochi, it was, it was the, uh, it was the, uh, one of the biggest ones, uh, well, it was 2008, with South Ossetia, it was, uh, and then it was uh, the Olympics. I mean, we were, we were nasty to them. They did this big thing sticking their necks out and to spend a gazillion dollars that they shouldn't be spending on a thing to invite the world in to see them. And we made fun of them the whole time. It was rude, from my point of view. Rude. And, and it's only gotten worse. So, anyway, don't get me started. Um, <laughs> anyway, anyway, now where am I on this? Oh, that, see, that's a distraction. Don't do that. Because <laughs> uh, I want to stay on this topic. Oh, I know, I know what it was. So what we've been doing is we've been sending money. We got it where we would wire it to a friend. And in fact, this woman here, yeah, this is just a funny picture of it. But she's the friend who we wired. So she's a retired English professor, one of my great friends. One of my great friends. This is the last, the last picture she sent me. So she's at her friend's, very very close friend's doctor. Now my friend. Is that Elena? Huh? Is that Elena? No, this is Olga. Olga Fleshel. Oh, Olga died last right. year. Um, from pneumonia, probably complications from COVID. Uh, and she's sorely missed. I mean, in fact, I'm at this stage of just being mad at her. You know, how irresponsible to say, to go and kick the bucket when we still need her. You know, come on, seriously. Anyway, that's me being funny. Anyway, she would accept the, she would accept the, uh, uh, the wire, the money wire. And we don't have anybody who will accept the money wiring now because it shows up as income, oh, wow. right? And they really, everybody we know really can't afford to do that. She didn't care, because she's 80, you know, she just doesn't care. I don't, you know, everybody's like, don't do that, you're gonna get in trouble taxes. I don't care, so she's perfect, right? So anyway, now we don't have a way to get the money over there uh, uh, without, you know, because uh, Western Union is way too expensive. And we're look, one of my projects is to figure out a way to do this, but it's just easy enough to carry the cash over. It's how, really, do you, how do you do that? I put it in my pocket. <laughs> I put it down my pants. Oh, okay. yeah. No, it's just, I have to declare it, and that's enough that I have to declare. But I don't, I don't feel like it's a particularly unsafe thing, situation. You know, I'm going to be airports and planes, and the minute I arrive, I hand it to my host, and, mm -hmm. you know, and then, and then when I, the way, to get to the, to get to the orphanage, uh, I won't be in a public, I'll be in a private car, I'll be with friends. So it, it's, I don't see that it's, you know, it's crazy to do that, but we really don't have another way that we can yeah. think to do it. Wow. So that's why it feels compelling to go now, because they're supposed to have this money in March. So anyway, all right. Wow. So I wanted to say that. Now, the other thing I want to mention is, I will give you, if you, well, we, I, we just finished and we'll be sending out next week our semi-annual newsletter, which is a small thing, and just saying what we're up to. Well, one of the things I'm reporting on it, that's my, one thing I'm reporting because I'm going to be doing it, is I'm leading a trip, a tour, a tourism tour, to this area. We've done it twice before. Ooh. And it's, I'll tell you, it's 18 days long. The tour is actually happening at, they're expensive, but as these things go, it's not expensive. I mean, comparable prices of, of I'm not gonna name a price because I don't know price yet. But I can throw it out to us. Okay, it's in the zone of, the trip is in the zone of 4,500 to 5,000 dollars. All expenses included. 18 days. Of 18 days plus, you have to get yourself to Moscow. 
Okay. Yeah, that, you have to add on the, the plate, which is approximately <laughs> okay. approximately yeah. yeah. uh, Huh? And no, no, no. That's round trip. Oh. That really is. Anyway, what I want to tell you is the trip. I'm going to 100% confirm it when I go because the tour agent is not answering my emails, and I think it's just because she's on a trip, that she, she's always leading trips. Um, but I can't see her saying no. Is that why well, I said, would you lead a trip that only has two people on it? Because you know, our trips have always been small, five people, six people. But this one is two. And, and I, wanted, I wanted to say, I'm sure she'll say yes. You know, she has to jack the price a little bit. I don't think it's actually going to change the price much. She says the cutoff for the price change is 10 people. That's when you start getting deals. Otherwise, it's basically always one. Well, the other person besides me is Joe. Sure. So, Aww. I'm trying to entice y'all because I think it would be an awful lot of fun. You have no idea how much fun. So, and I will tell you really quick, the big appeal of this, I mean, you can ask later. Well, it's summer, and I, I don't want to say the time yet, but I'm guessing likely August, but I don't, I don't want to, I don't even want to say that. I want to try to hit, if they're having, I mean, there's COVID, but if they're having them, there are two festivals that alternate in the region where, because this is a very specific part of Russia, and it's not tourist Russia. Right? Uh, there are these, there's this, and I'm not, I'm not going to go into who these are, but there is the Old Believers Festival and there is the Decemberist Festival. And both of these are historic, are very important in Russian history. Kind of, I don't know, very important is the right thing to say, but they're very, very interesting phenomena. And they both have to do with the fact that this part of Russia is where famously uh, prisoners were exiled to. It's where Gulag Archipelago, it's part of the Gulag Archipelago. So, both groups of these people are incredibly interesting. And I've been to both festivals, and they're cute as all get out, because they're tiny, they're in, they are in the podunk of podunks. Um, <laughs> and, and they're, they're just so, they're so sweet. The, the Old Believers is mainly, based, it's about this culture, but it's also about, uh, which is old Russian culture, old Russian rural culture. And the Decemberist is about uh, uh, an attempt to to overthrow, overthrow the czar, yeah, and they got exiled there. So anyway, uh, and it's absolutely fascinating stuff. And I want to try, to, if it's possible, I want to have the tour make it possible for us to go to. They're, they don't take, you know, that's a day or two. It's just I want to be able to go to that. If, if we don't hit that, it'll still be fun. But the other, the feature, and the part that all of the tourists have liked in the past, of course I like it, that's why I go, is that we will hang out with our friends. Oh yeah. And you go to their dachas and have saunas, banyas, oh, and, and do the whole thing. Okay, I'll show you. Yeah. It might, it's a very messy room, but you're welcome to. Um, so these are special people because they have dachas. No, everybody's got a dacha. No? Are you kidding? Everybody's got a dacha. Really? During Soviet era, everybody's got a dacha. A dacha doesn't mean a, a dacha just means an, a, it's like saying a cabin. Right. But so that was no, really kind of un no, 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 false. Actually, under Khrushchev, one of his one of his big points was to make sure everybody had one. Everybody had one. So everybody's got one. Um, and they're they're, they're, they're the most all the ones I've ever been are are really 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 simple. They're really simple, and it's it, well, mainly what they do is have a big vegetable garden, and they'll have a sauna, you know, and and they'll have this, they'd have a picnic, and you hang out, and that's it. Just fun, you know. Uh, anyway, so that's kind of the feature, is that we will have that. And the other part is that we will go to this orphanage. It'll probably be on the trip back to Moscow that we'll spend. We, don't, we never spend any too much time there because it just disrupts stuff. But they really like having visitors for a very confined amount of time. And we'll probably all you know, go meet the kids at summer camp. So um, anyway, <laughs> therefore, I, I stuck the bug in. That's the bug. And now I, that was way longer than I meant to talk, but you know. But you're time. one of us now. <laughs> <laughs> you're one of me. <laughs> All right, so here goes. Here goes. Let's do it. Here goes. <laughs> Get your giggles back. <laughs> Mom and Dad are probably asleep. Right? <laughs>
get off with just that. Usually you get extra. So, but I got to talk a little because they don't connect to that very well. So does anybody know any jokes? <laughs> okay, that's good enough. Okay. <laughs> you can't just go from that to what I'm going to do. So, uh, so I mean, normally this is you have to clap and clap, and then I write. And then you say, okay, fine, fine. But the way it really works is, I've got him, you're going to hear him. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm going to do one. Um, and this is, uh, I made this up. Um, and and it, so it's called Carefree. And I made it up in 1993, so it's a long time ago. but. Oh, I was it in honor of Johan's birth? What? <laughs> in 1993? Well, you'd have to ask your mom. <laughs> <laughs> right? Carefree? I don't know. I like that. I don't know if I've never been a woman in, you know. Anyway, so, so this is, and, and, and uh, I know I'll be playing in Russia because people have left. So, here it goes. Thank you. 
thanks for coming. Thanks for getting people to come. That was amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah, you guys are all That was amazing. Oh, okay, that was good. Well, I feel like I'm going to go home tomorrow and like have, I'm going to go to Spotify. And I know! <laughs> I was like, how do I ask for this? Those are the names. <laughs> okay, That's what you ask for. Yeah. You've got everything you need yeah. to find those pieces. Well, well and we can watch all yours. 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 <laughs> Well, that, that, I'm leaving that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the middle out of it. You know, I'm gonna leave the middle. What? That's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I'll take it and part. put it aside and say. <laughs> yeah. I'll put, it, I'll put it as extra. Yeah. 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 So this is real special, so you can film. You know. I've never made a good performance of it that I liked. So. Oh, I, I love that. I love yeah. that. that was my favorite piece tonight. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> <laughs>